Hello. Hello, hello. Well, that was awkward. Anyways, we're going to roll with it. Today I have a pretty cool hit, pretty cool hits for you, I should say. Uh, I'm going to show both of them. They're both done by Fwag in Elite Force 2.5. Uh, there's a couple things that makes this base able to be a two-hitter. Number one was Fwag's very good at this game. Num just don't tell him. He'll eat that up. I hope he doesn't watch this video. Number two, um, Tiny Shocks. Number three, GBE Boost. And number four, this Torrent being a 159, the health on the shield gens are very low. So let's start off with the first hit. So to start off, he goes after this one rocket launcher, hits hack, and then the flare. And you're going to see he's going to actually use one smoke. And then with these lasers having shot, on the the critters he gets a little bit lucky that they had already shot because they would have ripped him apart but he gets that so there's one smoke there's no cells or anything on this left side and there's also no rocket launchers so he probably could have just flared right up to the the second flare point but force a habit i guess we'll fast forward the walk a little bit great smoke placement not to lose delay and as you can see, the only things that needs to be shocked are these four MGs, this shock blaster, and this shock launcher. He flares onto the first one, does a long shock nice and early because it's not going to matter. And then he, ha he nails the pixel shock to get these five weapons, and technically the SG would have been the six that he got. Does um, two shots and then flares on to the next one and drops it just in the nick of time. From this point, I think he was calculating GBE a little bit in his head, deciding what to do, as it does take him a couple seconds. It was great that he was able to get all those mines gone with just one barrage. Sometimes that doesn't happen, and if that doesn't happen, you lose GBE, obviously. So on this hit, he uses the delay on this rocket launcher, um, and he's going to do... I think five smokes. Might be four. Yeah, he does four. Figure. Fog's gangster. And again, clearing onto the four, um, the closer SG because if you flared the farther one, they'd spread out too much. And you're going to see him throw four shocks here. He misses a pixel shock, but he realizes it in time, and that's okay. These doom cannons are firing, so got a little bit lucky that... Um, he was able to get this down that this rocket launcher didn't completely shred him as it, he did lose delay on that. At this point, clearing mine for the rush. So after one hit, Fogs got it down to the rush. Awesome open. Uh, this was that same op as Rogue that we thought might be a little bit tight but wasn't because of some really nice hits. Another nice green cart rush. I think green court one three and it was an oh four it was a nasty green court a lot of rocket launchers up at the front again another fog hit um, it's awesome that this is already a t-shock right here as this is a boom cannon and not a laser typical flared landing a nice anchoring position to make sure the girls don't spread out and get snagged by that laser it's nice that the, there aren't rocket launchers on the back here that you have to worry about. So I'm assuming he's going to tiny shock this, tiny shock this, um, shock these MGs, shock here, and shock here. So that's two tiny shocks and three shocks. Oh, I didn't notice that machine gun. So three tiny shocks. And he does lose a couple of the girls to this. But again, this was a lower health, and he had just tons of GBE. There was 1.35 million on the core brand new. So awesome job by Fug to get that down in two. Uh, getting shielded bases down on Forlorn Hope in two is always great, and we had a 315 and a 159 go down in two in this op. So awesome work to the guys in Elite Force 2.5. Love you guys. Love being there. Hope you guys are having a good day. 
happy booming.